Hi, this is Dr. Mayno with Tiger Family Chiropractic and Wellness Center. I wanted to start today, as I always do, sharing with you that with this information, I am not intending to change um, or imply a diagnosis or treatment of any particular kind, just sharing information that we hope will improve your life and make it better. So what we're gonna talk about today is actually what I refer to as a work envelope. And so work envelopes are going to be kind of your immediate workstation space. And so there's ergonomic um, things that we should consider. And ergonomics has been a topic that has grown in popularity greatly over the years. This is specific to how far your tools are away from you when you're in your workstation. This is a standing station behind me, so we're gonna utilize that for some for some thoughts or references, but overall, this is something that could apply to a standing or a seated workstation. So we have what's called the first work envelope. And what I recommend is you relax your shoulders to your side, you tuck your elbows into your side, and you move your hands gently back and forth in this area, you have your first work envelope, and this is where you should be able to reach 90% of what you're going to use in your daily work routine. And so what we want from this is we want your keyboard, we want your mouse, we want everything to be nice and close to you in that work envelope. Because if you're constantly reaching, for example, for your mouse, it's over here, but your keyboard is over there, you're going to distort the upper part of your body over and over and over again in your normal work routine and that in turn could lead into some issues um, relating to pain and discomfort. Your second work envelope is just an extension of your first work envelope and it's the things that if you extended your arms all the way out and move them back and forth this would be the ancillary things that you use in your day. Maybe you use it occasionally but it's not part of your your normal consistent routine of tools that you have on hand and so things that are in your second work envelope maybe your stapler <laughs> my whole punch, um, anything else that relates to organization, they're going to be out here in my immediate things. My mouse and keyboard are nice and close. And so um, you can analyze your workstation at home and move some things around. If you have a laptop, and this is super, super common now, that people are doing work from home, they're sitting on a laptop, I'll tell you there's no way to make that perfect in terms of ergonomic because you're either going to have your arms up here typing and looking straight ahead, or you're going to have your head down like this with your, your keyboard sitting in your lap. And so I strongly encourage anyone who has a laptop for consistent use of work to get an external keyboard. Um, they can Bluetooth, you could have it plug in through the normal cable. Um, thing. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> and so Bluetooth, we'll go with that. You could Bluetooth it. Um, but really you want to have your monitor in a position where you could look straight ahead and see it. So your head isn't tilted down or up, right or left. You want it straight on in front of you. Stack up a couple books underneath there if you need to. Set it on the coffee table and then have that external keyboard sitting in your lap instead of curling your whole body over and compromising your posture consistently. So these are just a couple of tips and tools that we hope will help you to have a healthier work environment. So thank you so much and take care.